is very common in jahiliya times that you saw two people talking to each other or introducing oneself to each other and somebody will say you know those two there yeah mhm mm something's going on over there that was very common in jahiliya which means we're back in jahiliya that's what that means if you, if that's the circle you're in that's you're back in jahiliya allah says wala taqbalu lahum shahadatan abada then and don't accept their witness ever for those people who did this never take their testimony in anything they can't be witness in court trials they can't be witness in a criminal case they can't be witness for anything wa ulaika humul fasiqun and those are the inherently corrupt people they are the most corrupt of people wow very harsh language about the people who make this kind of accusation now allah azza wa jalla when he says this why are they so corrupt and why should you never accept their 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 testimony there are five reasons that ulama mention i'll share these five with you the first reason lintihaki ma harram allah because they violated what allah made haram that's the first reason they're fasiq the second wantihaku irdi akhihi because they attack the dignity of their brother or their family or their sister the, the attacking the dignity of a muslim wa taslitu an-nasi 'ala al-kalam bi ma takallama bihi and he empowered other people to say the things that he was saying he spread a rumor now other people are talking so you spread a sin in society that's the the third reason wa izalatu al-ukhuwa allati 'aqadaha allah بين أهل الإيمان، and he destroyed the brotherhood that is supposed to be kept together between the people of Iman. Allah put Iman and love and respect between the Muslims. When you spread rumors between Muslims, you lose respect for them. You lose respect for the person who's got a scandal going on. Or you know what ha happened with that Imam? You know what happened with that Sheikh? You know what happened with this person? People don't even spare the people of Deen anymore, right? They spread rumors about them too. and you lose respect for this person i don't want to learn from that person you know what i heard about him you know what he's done subhanallah you don't have four witnesses how can you talk like this how do you not know these this is such a serious accusation wa muhabbatu wa muhabbatu an tashi'a al fahisha fi alladhina amanu wa hadha dalilun ala anna al qadh min kaba'ir al dhunub And the final reason this is so serious and you should never take their witness again is because they love that shamelessness and dirty talk should spread among Muslims. And that's why it's one of the biggest sins in Islam. You know the 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 thing that I wanted to highlight here before we go on two thing there's going to be an exception we'll talk about that in the next halaqa inshallah but two things that you need to understand here very very important. is that this why is this whipping so serious and why is there two things that have whipping you have the whipping for the zina itself and you have the whipping for the accusation which means these two things have something in common we have to understand what they have in common what both of these have in common is an tashi al fahisha fil ladina amanu shamelessness will become common among the muslims if somebody is committing zina publicly then it if this happens over and over again this will become what just a thing no problem you see it no big deal if people talk about these dirty things and accusations and rumors all the time then these thoughts will become what common in other words people will think about them even when they don't see them and the worst corruption is not corruption of actions the worst corruption is the corruption of thought you are corrupting the thought of people by presenting them these images by presenting them these ideas by spreading them and so the public is being harmed intellectually psychologically by these two crimes again the pur the purpose of these two prohibitions is not to punish someone personally is to prevent harm from coming to the public these are social laws of islam the wisdom in them is just absolutely profound